All right, so this is the box of the Renogy DC to DC MPPT charge controller thing. I don't really know the terminology, but opening up this box, the only thing you really have to be worried about is that cable, which is the battery um, temperature indicator and the charge controller itself. This thing's a beast, and one of the main tools you really need to buy is a good crimper. This is my crimper. It's rusted and old and through this project, I realized I have to get a new one. I start all my builds in a storage unit. It's, uh, it's got access to a garage and it's just really simple to kind of set everything up. So this is it. I've, you know, skipped ahead to wiring everything. This connection right here on the bottom left is gonna go to your alternator or car battery. So I have a ProMaster. I've connected it under the seat and around to the starter battery. That's the starter positive. Um, this red wire here is going to the gel lithium battery, the deep cell energy that I use for basically everything. My wires, wiring setup is really messy right now, but anyway, this one, this is the negative and that goes to a common negative bus. And from there, there's another wire that runs under the seat and goes to the negative of the car battery. So that just basically grounds everything throughout the car I'm still working on. Now, these lights here, um, this one right here, that's gonna give you an indication when the it's charging from the car battery. Now where this thing stands out is its lack of needing an ignition wire. Um, in a ProMaster, I think smart alternators still need it, but the Transit and the ProMaster, I don't think have one. Definitely the ProMaster, because that's mine. Um, so you can just wire it like I've been showing and you don't need an ignition line. This is your solar, that's your house battery, and the last one, the yellow light here, well, hurry up, yellow light is the, uh, your battery type. So I have yellow because it's a gel battery. If you need to change your battery type, you're going to want to grab, I have like 12 wire, 14 wire, whatever it is, and I just clicked it in there until I got the yellow setting, blue is lithium, red something else, there's a bunch of them, I don't remember, but uh, it's really easy, it's in the manual, yellow is gel, blue is lithium, that's all I really remember. Um, so you set it to the proper settings, and that's going to be your deep cell battery that your setting is. So this thing I'm pointing to right now, that's where your solar goes, but I have a, like a 10 amp charge controller I still need to get rid of. The solar is going there and I don't really care about it right now. So to show you that it works, you basically, you start the car and it doesn't turn on right away. Depending on how discharged your car battery is, it needs to get up to a certain amperage before it'll push out any power. Now, just to show that it works, basically my battery's spiking right now because the charge controller thinks the battery's got a shitload of power in it right now. And if you turn the car off, it, you know, goes back to a normal level, but this is what it'll look like as you, uh, as you drive. You should have the red, if you had solar on, um, you'd be getting that, but the green and then whatever your battery type light is. And what that does is it push power through the alternator, through your car battery, through into your house battery. And that's what this thing does, plus, you know, solar which I'll get to. So it's just a daunting task. The last thing I wanted to show was the ProMaster battery location. These, you know, large sprinter vans, they don't have a battery in a normal place. I think the transit's under the passenger seat, maybe driver's seat. Um, just look into where your battery location is. Um, I ran a six wire. Uh, if you're running anything longer than three feet, you're gonna wanna get a, what was that, four, four wire? Um, that's what I ran for everything else besides coming from the car battery. So it's six and four. Just look at the, the manual, it's really simple. You don't have to read a whole lot. I tend to skip over a lot of things, but this is a, a necessity. If you're looking at van power, you know, before you get into solar, do this. This is so much more effective if you drive on occasion. I drive to and from work every day with my van and this is gonna put, 
you know, within 10 minutes what an entire day of good solar does. So that's about it. Um, my next video will be on diesel heaters and how much heat they can provide, how much power they draw, and downsides, all that stuff. So we'll get into that with a friend of mine who's going to help me do the install. You can actually hear it clicking. It's already done. So that video's already been shot. It just needs to be edited and put together. So that's it. See you in the next one.